Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we embark on a journey through the strategies and wisdom of legendary investors. In today's video, we take a deep dive into the world of finance through the lens of one of the greats, John Neff. His remarkable career and investment philosophy have left an indelible mark on the investing landscape. Join us as we explore the eight fundamental principles that encapsulate his approach to investing. These principles offer valuable insights into the art of investing, guiding us toward making informed and profitable decisions in the complex realm of the stock market. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. We're all about providing valuable content to help you improve your financial literacy and achieve your goals. So don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Principle number one, value investing. It is a strategy that involves identifying and investing in stocks that are considered undervalued in the market. It's about finding diamonds in the rough, companies that may be temporarily overlooked or underestimated by other investors. As Warren Buffett once said, price is what you pay, value is what you get. This approach looks beyond the current market sentiment and focuses on the intrinsic value of a company. In the world of investing, value is like hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. Picture it as a garage sale where everyone else sees old junk, but you recognize hidden gems. Now here's the intriguing question. Can you spot value where others see volatility? Is it possible to swim against the tide and make profitable investments in undervalued assets? The answer lies in your ability to discern a company's true worth. Value investing isn't just about buying low. It's about seeing the potential for future growth that others might miss. So, are you up for the challenge of being a value-seeking investor, patiently waiting for the market to recognize the hidden treasures you've uncovered? Principle number two, dividend yield. It is a financial metric that represents the annual dividend income paid by a company to its shareholders as a percentage of its stock's current market price. It's a way for investors to gauge the income they can earn from their investments in addition to potential capital gains. Imagine it as the interest you earn on your savings account, but from your investments. In the words of Jeff Bezos, your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. In a similar vein, Dividend yield is what your investments say about your financial strategy when you're not actively trading. Now let's ponder this. Are you content with just watching your investments grow in value on paper, or do you crave the satisfaction of regular income streams? Dividend yield can be your ticket to achieving both, offering a stable income while your investments potentially appreciate. It's a strategy that asks whether you're willing to be patient, let your investments work for you, and enjoy the financial fruits they yield. So. Are you ready to consider dividend yield as part of your investment portfolio and reap the rewards it offers? Principle number three, contrarian approach. Neff was known for his contrarian approach to investing. He would often invest in stocks that were out of favor or face temporary challenges, but had strong underlying fundamentals. This approach allowed him to buy stocks at a discount when others were pessimistic. It's about dancing to your own financial tune when everyone else seems to be following the same beat. As Warren Buffett wisely noted, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. In the world of investing, being a contrarian is like taking a different route to a destination everyone else is rushing to. It's about having the courage to think independently and not letting market euphoria or panic sway your decisions. Contrarian investing thrives on the idea that the majority isn't always right. Principle number four, long-term perspective. Adopting a long-term perspective in investing means looking beyond the daily market fluctuations and focusing on the big picture. Neff had a long-term investment horizon. He believed that short-term market fluctuations and noise should not deter investors from holding on to fundamentally sound stocks for the long run. As Warren Buffett, a champion of long-term investing, advises, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. In the fast-paced world of finance, it's easy to get swept up in short-term gains and losses, like checking your investment portfolio daily. But consider this. Would you plant a seed in the ground and dig it up every day to see if it's growing? Probably not, because you know it takes time. Now let's ask a compelling question. Are you investing for a quick thrill, or are you willing to cultivate a forest of wealth over the long haul? Share your insights in the comment section below, and keep watching the video to explore further investment secrets. Principle number five. Fundamental Analysis Neff conducted thorough fundamental analysis of the companies he invested in. He looked at financial statements, 
earnings growth potential, management quality, and industry trends to make informed investment decisions. In the world of investing, fundamental analysis is the art of looking beyond the surface. It's about separating the wheat from the chaff, identifying companies with strong fundamentals that are likely to weather market storms. Now consider this. Would you buy a car without checking its engine, mileage, and maintenance history? Probably not, because you want value for your money. So when it comes to investing your hard-earned money, are you willing to do your homework, delve into the financials, and analyze a company's prospects thoroughly? Principle number six, diversification. It's the strategy of spreading your investments across different asset classes or securities to reduce risk. While Neff had a focused portfolio, he still believed in diversification within that framework. He didn't put all his eggs in one basket and spread investments across different sectors and industries. In the world of finance, it's a way to safeguard your investments against the unpredictability of any single asset or market. Now consider this. When you're building a team for a project, do you select individuals with the same skills and strengths, or do you assemble a diverse group with a range of talents? Diversification in investing operates on a similar principle. It's about creating a balanced portfolio that can weather various economic conditions. Principle number seven, risk management. Risk management in investing is the art of assessing, mitigating, and controlling potential threats to your financial goals. It's like setting up guardrails on a winding road to ensure a safe journey. As renowned investor George Soros wisely noted, it's not whether you're right or wrong that's important, but how much money you make when you're right and how much you lose when you're wrong. In the world of finance, risk management is about understanding that investing inherently involves uncertainties. It's about calculating the potential downsides and having strategies in place to limit losses. Just as a ship captain prepares for storms at sea, investors must be prepared for market volatility. Principle number eight, active management. Active management is an investment strategy that involves hands-on decision-making and continuous monitoring of your portfolio. It's akin to being the captain of a ship, adjusting your course as needed to navigate changing waters. In the world of investing, active management is the opposite of a set it and forget it approach. It's about regularly evaluating your investments, making adjustments based on market conditions, and seizing opportunities when they arise. Just as a gardener tends to their plants, active investors nurture their portfolios for growth. Now here's a thought-provoking question. Are you content with a passive approach, letting your investments ride without intervention? Or do you crave the excitement and potential rewards of actively managing your assets? Active management asks whether you're prepared to be engaged in the dynamic world of finance, making informed decisions, and adapting to changing circumstances. So, are you ready to take the helm and actively steer your investments toward your financial goals? In conclusion, John Neff's investing principles provide a roadmap for investors seeking to navigate the ever-changing landscape of finance. From the art of spotting hidden value to the wisdom of patient long-term thinking, Neff's strategies encourage us to approach investments with a discerning eye. By embracing diversification, fundamental analysis, and active management while managing risk, we can strive for financial success. Neff's legacy reminds us that in the world of investing, knowledge and discipline are powerful allies on the journey to building wealth. If you enjoyed this video and found the information valuable, we kindly ask you to like and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay connected with our future content on investing, personal finance, and wealth management. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Best of luck on your investment journey, and may your financial goals be realized.